Hello, everybody. In this demonstration, we're going to familiarize you with the least block in UFLOW. Least is the most basic data type in Python. A least is capable of containing a bunch of data regardless of the difference of the data type and how many of them. It can be integers, strings, chars, and etc. And we call them elements. Each element have an index number for locating themselves inside a list. The index number is start from zero, so the first one is zero, and the second one would be one, third would be two, and so on. We can either assign the value to the elements or get the value of the elements inside the list. In this case, here I've got some terms about realistic management and the the explanations corresponds to the terms. We're going to use M5 plus UFLOW plus LIST to make a flashcard application. Firstly, let me talk a little bit about the basic function of the application. After start the device, display the title and content of the flashcard. In this instance, we have M5 flashcard realistic terms chapter 1. The button A and C, which is located on the side of the device, is functional for go through the list of the terms. And the button B is used to flip it. Just like a flashcard, you have words on one side and the explanation on the other side. I've got your flow opened. We can start from dragging in three labels place them at different areas and set different sizes to be 18, 24, and 40. Over here at the program area, setup is basically um, initialization for the M5 device. I guess some of you should be very familiar with it if you have watched the previous video we made. Underneath setup, we have label 0 to display M5 flashcard. Label 1 to display realistic terms, um, chapter 1. And hide label 2, delay for 1 second, and run it. When the screen turns on and title shows up, means your program is running just fine. Next, we're going to create a to list. Name it K to store the terms. And thou to store the explanations. Also, we're going to create two variables. n is the index number in the list. i is for capture the button operate conditions. So whenever button a was pressed, i minus 1. Button b was pressed, i plus 1. So that i can be a pointer for indexing. By using the create list with block, we can assign the value to list k and click the setting icon to add more items. The type of the item is test. I've got realistic document here. Copy paste the terms to the test. Same process for the while at least. Just make sure everything is placed in order and then set variable i to zero. When button A is priced, I decreased by one. Delay for 0.5 seconds. In order to just display the terms on this side, Let's add the other two labels. And then let's talk a little bit about index of the list. The way how compiler locate the elements inside the list is by the index number. Because you may have different amount of elements that stored in the list and it related to the index number of each items. In this instance, we will have i divided by the size of the list and take the reminder to be the index number n. 
so that n can always be less than total number of the elements by one. Here we display the number n plus one elements in this label. For button C is pretty much the same as button A, just change it to plus one. If button B is priced, flip the flashcard to show the explanations. So label one and label two should be gone. In this case, we're going to use n to be the index number. OK, that's pretty much everything we need for a simple flashcard application. So run it and check it out. In the example above, we made a flashcard application with the combination of list block and button. With UF Flow and I5 serial products, include unit, module, and some other components, you are allowed to create some cool stuff. What we do in this tutorial is just give you guys a um, demo you can absolutely bring it to another level. For example, can you add in more chapters? And could it be possible to use a button to choose between different chapters? What about change the way of flipping the card? Can we flip the card just by shaking the device? Can we realize that with a driver scope sensor? There are a lot of things that allows you to manipulate and play with. So. Do you want a challenge and try it? Well, at last, I want to say we really appreciate the support from you guys. We have received a lot of great ideas, good comments, and brilliant applications. We'll keep it up to release at least one tutorial video every week. If you want to know more about Amfestec or if you have anything to say to us about this video, about the coming videos, or anything about and Vestec. You can either comment below or go to our communities, which is community.amfestec.com or the official webpage, 3w.amfestec.com. Thank you all. See you next week.